Welcome, one and all, to a very interesting video here on the culture of currency. As promised in my last unboxing video, this video is going to lay out what happened to the shipping issue I received from Atmex, as well as their response. It is my hope that this video will help you understand Atmex a little more in regards to customer relations and customer values. I will also let you know that I am in no way, shape, or form sponsored or compensated by any entity in making this video, but it is rather to show all of you, the viewers, the best information in order for you to make the best decisions for your precious metals, and for those of you who do not know what Atmex is, Atmex is a Oklahoma-based precious metals website and company that is probably one of the biggest in distribution of metals to Americans and people throughout the world. This video, as stated before, is not a review of that company or shopping experience as a whole, but rather about how Atmex responded to my particular shipping issue. So in case you missed my last unboxing video, this is what the thumbnail looks like, and I encourage you to take a look if you want to see the unboxing in real time. For those of you who watched, you know that there were a couple of errors in shipping. Here is the online look at the order. As you can see, there should have been six coins and two capsules in that order. In my unboxing video, you noticed two separate events that led to my reaching out to Atmex to see what happened. The first issue was in regards to my 2021 Rwanda Okapi coin. This is the first time I've ever seen this issue. The protective packaging that came with it was ruptured in some way, leaving the coin to roll around free in the bag. This really worried me at first look because I pulled an empty coin sleeve from the bag and looked into the bag and saw it at the bottom without any protection. The second issue we had that, as you saw in my online order summary, there was only one capsule shipped even though I had ordered two. That was only around a dollar and not a big issue, except for I had run out of capsules and wanted to protect all my coins. I've made many orders with Atmex, as you all know, and it is a general practice of mine to understand that humans are humans and there is no such thing as a perfect process. It was therefore my intention to let Atmex know about what happened in the order and I would only be able to judge them and their response to knowing about it. I find that this is the only fair way in life regarding issues like this. We cannot choose what happens to us, but we can always choose how we respond. So how did Atmex respond when I told them about this? Well, let's find out together. There's a contact on their website which I used to email them. I emailed them on Friday, June 4th at 3.16 stating the following. I will read the email out loud because I know I have people who are visually compromised that watch my channel. I just opened my order, the number I put in there as well. The box was in good shape and the bag was sealed but when I opened my order I only had one capsule when I had ordered two and what's worse the bag containing the Rwanda Okapi which is the SKU 221505 was cut open and the coin was just loosed in the shipping bag. I ordered from Atmex often and know that this is not normal so I wanted to see if you had input on what happened and how to fix the problem. I run a YouTube channel and always film my unboxings and have this footage if you need it for confirmation. Thank you for any answers you have. We got a response June the 4th, which is the same day, at 4.37 p.m. stating the following, which I will also read because, like stated, I have at least one viewer who I know is visually impaired. Thank you for contacting Atmex. I apologize for any inconvenience that you have experienced and for the missing capsule. I've reached out to Returns Department and requested another capsule to be sent to you. Would you be able to provide a photo of the bag that contains SKU 221505, which is that Rwanda Okapi? We hope this helps with your inquiry. Please feel free to reply to this email with any other questions or concerns from the Atmex customer service team. In about 10 minutes, I sent them a picture of the product in the bag, as you can see, and waited for their response. In about 15 minutes, Atmex responded again with this email, which I again will read for our visually impaired viewers. Thank you for contacting Atmex. 
thank you for providing us with the photos. I will send this over to our post-shipment department to see if we can obtain information as to what occurred. I apologize for any inconvenience. We hope this helps with your inquiry. Please feel free to reply to this email with any other questions or concerns. The Atmex Customer Service Team. At this point, I was satisfied with their response because they said they are shipping another capsule to me, which I was owed, and they are looking into the process with the shipment department to see what the problem would be. I would also note that my Okapi coins seem not to be affected by the unprotected shipping, thank goodness. I found their response to be suitable for the given situation. Well, a couple of days passed, and sure enough, in my mailbox were not only one, but two packages. I was not sure what they were at first because they were not labeled in the same manner of my packages when I purchased coins, and honestly, were not positive they were from Atmex. As you can see, there are two different sizes here, but as I opened them, this is what I found. The smaller box had my missing capsule, and in the larger box was a box of size 40 capsules. This is beyond what I ever expected from Atmex. Not only did they send what I was owed, they, I assume, watched my unboxing video and saw that I did not have a capsule for my 40mm Okapi coin and had to shuffle other coins around so that I could protect this coin. This makes me think that someone at Atmex might actually watch this video, so if you would, I would love if you had a good experience from Atmex to comment on this video about that experience so that if they watch, they will know that they have made buying metals easier and more attainable for our community as a whole. Or if you have an idea of how they can meet our community's interests in a better way, comment that as well so that they can continue to be a means of individuals being in control of their own metal purchasing. Maybe I'm too nice or crazy, but I find that this is a great example of a company who saw that one, they made a mistake and wanted to remedy the error, and two, cared about my passion to protect my coins. I want to be open and honest with you guys. I am an individual that really tries to be loyal to brands I believe in. I understand that sometimes big companies like Atmex get roasted for having large premiums and occasional hard terms of sale in crazy market situations. I have myself had times where I could not purchase from Atmex because they had a purchase limit way above my $100 challenge value. I understand that and understand that they are a business and choices like that help make sure that there is always an Atmex to purchase from rather than a situation where there is no Atmex and there's less players in the online market that you can trust. I would hate for everyone to have to rely on eBay, for example. I have only made one online purchase to a company other than Atmex for silver due to Atmex limiting sales at the point well beyond my $100 challenge limit. I took my business to the Scottsdale Mint. That package just came in and there will be an unboxing soon, but I will say this. I will probably start from now on when shopping for coins with Atmex. I did not have a reason to be loyal to them beyond always being satisfied before this event. Now I have that reason. Every time I decide to purchase, this will probably be where I start. It may not be where I land and where I buy from, but it will be the start. I am not trying to push any of you to do the same, but rather just wanted you to have the best information to make the best decisions for your household. Thank you so much for tuning into this special video, and please remember to always stay classy and current with the culture of currency.